All right, I want to talk about those kids that don't like sensory play. I want to talk about the kids that don't like touching, the kids that don't like messy, because here's the truth, right? When we think of sensory play, we think of slime, we think of Play-Doh, right? We think of all those things that are super messy. So how can you get a kid to play with slime, to play with Play-Doh if they don't like it? Or things that smell or things that stick. They don't like mud, they don't like dirt, they don't like getting their shirt wet. All of those sorts of things. It's happening because of their tactile system most of the time and it's over responsive and so they don't like the way it feels and it can really bother them. But sensory play is not just messy play and that's a big common misconception with sensory play. One thing you can do is you can take the slime and put it in a baggie. Let them play with it through a bag or through a balloon. Put it inside of a sensory bottle so that it then becomes a visual instead of it being something that they have to touch. Any sort of jar like this can be super calming. So there's tons of ways that you can use these. And then Play-Doh mats are super great way to include multi-sensory learning and include sensory play in your learning print them out, laminate them, and I actually do them back to back. So it actually just cuts down on how much paper I have to use. You can just do it in black and white. I actually only do a couple letters at a time, but if you have a kid that doesn't want to do the Play-Doh, here is an awesome trick. I absolutely love these. These are super long pipe cleaners. I got these at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they were on clearance, but you can get them on Amazon. This is actually half of the pipe cleaner. It's just a super long pipe cleaner, but it looks like rolled out Play-Doh, right? So the kids can use this to then shape the letters just like they would Play-Doh and they're still getting that tactile input. They're still getting proprioceptive input from squeezing and pushing. They're still getting fine motor skills, but they're not having to get messy and they can walk away from it which is awesome. So that is another tip for kids that don't like getting messy and having sensory play. All right, and then these are lifesavers, just like little bags, especially this time of year, anytime you can find them on clearance, grab a couple of these, because these are great. If you've got to cook dinner, if you've got to run to the store and you don't want to give your kid the phone or you don't want to give them electronic time and you're running in the car and your kid like can't read in the car. So we have a kid that can't read in the car. So you can throw some of your games, you can print them out, throw them in one of these bags and take it with you. So that's a great way to take sensory play with you. Mazes, I spies, tic-tac-toe, any of those that use the visual sense are a great way to keep your kids occupied.